Hey, good evening. It's Monday evening, August 30th. I want to pick up tonight on talking through what we talked about this morning. And that is this idea of life random. And the only way that we can know that life is not random, not some odd thing, is if we follow Paul's direction in 2 Corinthians and we only focus our eyes on what is unseen. Paul says in 4.18, 2 Corinthians, focus on what is unseen, because what is unseen is eternal. What is seen is temporary. So what that means is, if I focus on the immediate, on what I can see, on what my senses tell me, my sensory perception, if those things form my reality, I have an incomplete view of reality. It's real, but it's missing something. Someone is sick and they have cancer. Someone is hurt. There's, someone makes a lot of money. You're happy or you're sad. Those are things that we can perceive and, and see. But they're only a portion of what's real. So what 2 Corinthians is urging us to is to see things clearly. So this is what this focus right here is what is seen. Paul says this isn't enough because it's limited. If I only deal with what is seen, I'm going to have a, a short change view of reality because it's only a small part of reality. So it sounds kind of crazy. Paul says, focus your thinking, focus and see on what is unseen, not on what is seen, because what is seen is only part of it. And that's kind of hard to do if you're living in Louisiana right now or some of the other things we've been talking about where everything, life just seems totally overwhelming. But that's why we get confused because we only focus on what we can see. So a fuller picture of what Paul is talking about in 2 Corinthians is this. This is our first square here. This is reality, but now look what's behind it here. This is the unseen. And there's more reality to this than there is to this. There's more to the unseen than there is to the seen. So your vision needs not to be only here, but nor the vision needs to come to the unseen. And that's the vision that God has for us to do. That's what Paul's talking about. What is unseen is something that has substance to it. It has reality to it but we'll only see it if we focus on it. Do you see what I'm trying to get at for, for us? If all I do is allow things to form my reality based upon what I can perceive, my senses, I will have a limited view of reality. And life will, in fact, appear to be random or uneven or something I can't control. But if I take in this fuller vision the whole thing, which includes not just the sickness and the problems or the good or the bad or the successes, but takes in everything behind it. Now I can begin to understand what reality is. I can begin to see from God's perspective because the unseen connects me to eternity, which I can't see yet. But through faith, I can grasp it. Faith is being certain of what we don't see. And if my faith is based only on things that I do see, I'm going to have issues. I'm going to be, con I'm going to be troubled. And life will appear to be random and have no purpose, no direction. But if I follow Paul's direction and I focus my thinking, focus my vision, if I add this unseen element here, that's what that red O is that. I add that to my vision. Now I can see the whole picture. I can see that God is at work. I can see he has purpose and plan. More than, <laughs> more than what I can see and taste and touch and feel and smell. This is how we keep life from being random. Focus on what we can't see. Ask God for vision. Just like Elisha's servant long ago. 
when Elisha asked God to open his eyes so he could see all the warriors around him, the chariots of fire. And of course, the big question is, well, when the servant's vision returned and he couldn't see the chariots of fire anymore, were they still there? And the answer is yes, they were. Just because they're not seen doesn't mean they're not real. Just because we can't see God doesn't mean he isn't real. If we, want, if we focus our view of life only on what we see, life will appear random. If we take the word of God and, let it, and give us the vision to see what we can't see, then we can make sense of things. Again, love your thoughts and feedback. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, check us out at everydaytalk24.com, everydaytalk247.com. Hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. You can give me feedback, check out our new section on uh, recommended reading. And great to be with you. And Lord willing, we'll see you in the morning. Have a great evening. Because life is at random. Because we can see the unseen. Good night.